My wife and kids was in a car crash and um, so last March, I just couldn't cope. Okay, and uh, what happened, are they okay? No, they died. Thank you for your time, first of all. I want Young to ask you, um, how old are you? 35. 35. And how long have you been homeless for? 10 months. 10 months. Um, and have you been homeless previously as well, or is this your no, first time? No, first time. How did you end up being homeless? My wife and kids was in a car crash in, um, so last March. I just couldn't cope. Okay. And uh, what happened? Are they okay? No, they died. Wow. They died in a car crash. And, um, was it just you and your, sorry, was it your missus and your one? Two, two little kids? girls, yeah. And um, I want to ask you, Jacob, from that tragic event there, um, you ended up on the streets. What what actually happened after that then? What, what led you to being on the streets after that? Was it just like depression? No help. No help. Almost no help. help. I don't want to go into a hostel full of crackheads and smackheads and be around all these people, don't you? Yeah. And uh, to do. was there not any friends or family that could help you back I ain't then? got no family now. A lot. My mum and dad died when I was little. Right. I ain't got no brothers or sisters. And Always uh, been on my own. How, how old were your kids? Two and four. Oh, they were tiny. I was driving the car as well. Oh, you were in the car as well? Yeah, I was driving me. And uh, how was your state after the accident? You, did you Broke have... my pelvis. Okay. And All you right. were the only one that survived? Yeah, that's, that's horrific. Um, when you ended You're up... the first person I admitted that to. When it's you, tough for me, don't it? When you ended up homeless, what was your first day like being on the streets? Not very really good, boss. I didn't sleep for about four days. Because mm. obviously you weren't used to that, isn't it? Did, did any of the homeless help you? Huh? You were literally on your own. I'm always on my own. Man. I talked to Sharon and that's about it. Yeah. And um, where do you currently sleep? Wherever I come. Yeah. Sometimes if I can get £12, pound, I'll stay in Limehouse. Okay. If I can't, then. Um, I have to sleep out here, you know. And Jacoby, what do you find to be the toughest part about being homeless? On my own. Being on your own? Yeah. T talk to us about your life before you became homeless. What kind I of was a bricklayer. I'm a singer-songwriter as well. Okay. I ex-European champion boxer. Serious? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my cousin is a professional boxer. All right. Um, and uh, what would you say is the most important thing in your life? Trying to get something to eat. Yeah. Warm to stay. It's not always as easy as I look. And then what, what, would, what would you say is the nicest thing that someone has done for you? Got me up, took me to a place and paid for a week. Okay, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you say is the meanest thing someone has done to you? Spat at me, pissed on me. Two women pissed on me. Women? That's shocking. And um, you know, before becoming homeless, what were some of your hobbies like? What were you into? You said boxing? Yeah, songwriting, songwriting. rugby. Do you still Any do, sport, really. Do you still do songwriting and stuff? Yeah, every now and then, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, if you could get one wish, what would your one wish be? Warm bed for the night. Yeah. And it's if, tough you, if you could go back, is there anything that you would change? Oh, well, because I haven't done anything. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just stuff life, that happened, yeah. basically, life. And uh, being homeless, what's the one lesson that you've learned? Keep yourself to yourself. Don't take drugs. Huh? And obviously, there's a lot of homeless people that, that do, do take drugs. So it must be difficult for you to stay away from that. Got to try and put yourself out that equation, isn't it? Okay. Um, and uh, what does your average day look like? Wake up at about nine o'clock. Just get by. Yeah. What else can you do, isn't it? So you just sit around basically and hoping someone helps yeah. you out. Yeah. yeah? And you know, um, people that walk past, if they want to do something nice for you and other homeless people, what kind of things do you think they could do that will put a smile, a smile on your face? Somewhere to stay. Somewhere to stay, yeah. I don't care have, about anything else. Have any of the outreach teams tried to help you? Yeah, but they want to put me in hostels full of crackheads. I'm not going in there. Yeah. Right. Um, so you want like a proper solution, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And the uh, final thing is, Jacoby, that people that are going to watch this video, what would your final message be? people what just you want stick with someone no I mean like just stick with someone please guys just like get a friend or like try not to be on your own 
and dangerous. Then, and then the people that are not lucky, homeless, I can look after myself. And mm. say the people that are not homeless, that have got a good life and they got family and people around them. What Just would don't you? ignore an homeless person. I mean, that person didn't ask to be like this. I mean, yeah, what don't so. kill you makes you stronger. Mm. Thank you so much. God bless. All right, kid. We just interviewed you and you said you've been homeless for a, for a while now. You know, people that watch the videos, Jokobi, they donate money to us and with the money we buy food and clothes and things like that. What would your message be to the people that have donated? Thank you very much, guys. Uh, God bless you. All it's right. just tough out there. It's nice to know if someone's got your back. Amazing. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank you, Bob.